edition of the Market Marauder Show. Be in the market one trade at a time. If you're into the Market Marauder Show, it's the investment channel. It helps you find best deals in the market. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you that thumbs up. Definitely helps the YouTube algorithm of the videos. All right, so today giving you a brief update on Safe Moon, just some of the things that I came across. Shout out to everybody out there holding Safe Moon uh, as the as the crypto continues to rally uh, even more. So as far as holders are concerned, about at 2.8 million holders. So this number seems to grow more and more every day, almost at 3 million holders. So shout out to everybody holding SafeMoon. Uh, if you're not familiar with what SafeMoon is as a protocol, SafeMoon protocol is a community-focused fair launch DeFi token. Uh, reflection, so 5% uh, is reflected to all holders for passive income. Uh, LP uh, acquisition, 5% is added to liquidity pool. And then for burn, um, a burn wallet receives a portion of the reflections uh, to never be seen again. So this is a brief uh, introduction to the tokenomics for SafeMoon. Uh, you can now get SafeMoon on the uh, SafeMoon wallet which you can get on Android as well as Apple. So it's on iOS as well as Google Play, uh, and they are both available, uh, which is a great way for you to get your hands on SafeMoon. Otherwise, you'd have to go um, get a wallet uh, and you know stake it with a whole bunch of uh, other coins and then convert those coins over. So you have to get a uh, Binance Smart Chain coin, uh, and then once you have that, convert that over to SafeMoon would doing the SafeMoon wallet way is the simplest way, in my personal opinion. So going to the chart, this is on a dex.guru, uh, and this is the safe moon chart. We can see there's a little bit of oscillation going on right here. Uh, they kind of been at this level uh, for quite some time now. So we see October 30th, there was a dip, uh, and then it came back the 31st to about this level right here, but it's been fluctuating there uh, ever since then. On the 29th, it kind of hit a high. So it was a high going into the 30th, uh, ending the 29th of October. Then it fell down to uh, this level right here uh, where it bounced up and then found, found a new resistance uh, right here at this level. So it's been oscillating between this level uh, for about a couple of days now. So we're just going to continue to look at it uh, moving forward to see if it can go and start to make new highs. So the level that it hit on the 30th, it was actually a pretty high level, um, and it didn't fall all the way back down. So I would say it still is a little bit bullish, even though it isn't all the way back at this level. Uh, definitely, it is hitting uh, this peak right here. So the peak that it hit around the 29th um, is definitely a level to look at for. So if it bounces off there, going to be looking for it to rally back up potentially to this peak that it hit on the 30th. So uh, that's as far as chart analysis is concerned. Uh, definitely going to be looking to see this continue to go up. So let's jump into the news on SafeMoon. Um, and the great place to find the news for SafeMoon is on their Twitter page. Um, and so on their Twitter page, they have SafeMoon Sunday, which is where they release all the information about SafeMoon. So I'm just going to be really re reading some of the articles or some of the updates that they came out uh, on SafeMoon Sunday. So Here's one of the highlights on here. Um, it says over 500K uh, plus wallet downloads in 50 days, over 100K plus new holders in the last 24 hours, um, and 1.145 uh, million uh, on Twitter followers. So uh, they've grown their Twitter followers. Uh, and then this is impressive in my personal opinion, the 500K uh, wallet downloads in 50 days. Um, that's quite a bit of people who are getting the SafeMoon wallet. So like I said, again, uh, it is available on iOS and on Android. So the second update that they gave uh, is a new SafeMoon wallet updates. Uh, they're going to be doing a V2, uh, Wind Turbines, and Dark Moon. Uh, so there are some highlights uh, from some updates on the SafeMoon wallet. Then also, uh, they're going to be having new swap pairs and reflection tracker, uh, and this is going to be on an update to the iOS. So this will be an update on the iOS, uh, and this is going to be pushed live on Android. So uh, on SafeMoon Sunday, uh, these updates were actually pushed out, but they're in the works of adding them to the iOS. So the iOS doesn't currently have uh, new swap pairs and reflection tracker, uh, but it will have it coming pretty soon. Uh, so next on here, we're talking about uh, for the SafeMoon wallet as well, new features will include reflection tracker. Uh, chart evolution, on-chart and off-chain uh, transactions, uh, new swap 
Uh, so shout out to the SHIB army out there uh, and Shiba Inu that said they're going to be adding SHIB uh, to swap uh, AAVE and Chainlink. Uh, BTC and Doge are coming soon. Uh, so BTC, SHIB, um, and Doge being three of like the most popular coins that are currently out there. I know Chainlink and AAVE um, have grown uh, in popularity. So definitely looking for those as well. Uh, I really haven't heard of the AAVE one. Uh, I may be new to that one, so don't really know what that ticker stands for. Um, I feel like it's Avalanche, but I don't want to say exactly for sure. If it is Avalanche, I do know what that coin is. Chainlink, I've heard a lot of great things about Chainlink. Uh, so definitely uh, like the new additions to the SafeMoon wallet. And then uh, on here, this is uh, just something uh, from their CEO, uh, whose Twitter name on here is Captain Hold. So John uh, Carney. Uh, it's going to be uh, doing a live uh, question and answer, so make sure uh, you join in on Safe Moon Sunday. So for next Sunday, uh, make sure you all check out that uh, to get your live questions uh, answered. And then here are some more community questions. Uh, desktop wallet is in discussion, uh, which I think will be a huge addition moving forward uh, to move just from mobile to go to the desktop as well. I think more people will download it if it's on desktop. Um, and then uh, looking for a Chrome app plugin, then other products will be available in Web3 spaces also. So definitely like the fact that they're looking into Web3. Um, that is a very reassuring thing as well, because a lot of projects don't really talk about Web3 uh, applications or Web3 spaces. Uh, so I like the fact that Safe Moon is talking about that. Um, and then uh, for other questions, they're talking about everything else is on schedule. Uh, they're very close to the, to the finish and partnership uh, with Unicrypt uh, is helping speed up the process. So shout out to everybody holding uh, SafeMoon. Uh, it seems to be continuing to grow more and more. Um, it's saying you'll be able to hold BTC and Doge. So definitely going to be excited about that on the SafeMoon uh, wallet. Um, and so shout out to the SafeMoon army. Uh, you know, some great updates coming uh, up there to the Safe Moon community. Uh, drop a comment down below. Tell me what price point do you think Safe Moon will get to uh, from where it's currently at? What is a high value that you think Safe Moon will get to? Uh, while you're down in the comment section, make sure that thumbs up. Definitely helps you to out the videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.